Take a look at the cabinet in front of you. It's not just an ordinary cabinet. It's the most wonderful piece of what we call marquetry work. It was made by a man called Anton Seufot, who was trained in Bohemia, that's, that's in present-day Czech Republic. And he came to live in New Zealand in 1859. He set up shop in Auckland as a manufacturer of re- what, what were really high-class productions in marquetry work and very fine cabinet making, aimed at the luxury market. This particular cabinet, it's in a, what we call a Louis XIV style, but has very, very fine, beautifully executed inlay work. It's incredibly fine. What he's doing, he's incorporating specifically New Zealand motifs, the animals, the Maori scenes, the native plants, very, very fine um, imitations of tarnakau weaving, all in wood. Basically what he's doing, he's veneering very thin layers of native woods, and he, he got excited by the possibilities of the colours and the textures and the mottling effects of native woods. The cabinet just glows because the the first colonists who came to live in New Zealand in the the 19th century, some of them really got excited about the the, the colouring of New Zealand native timbers. It was really exciting because they were so bright and finely, what they call finely figured. So what Seufert is doing in this work, he's exploiting the qualities of these woods and incorporating specifically New Zealand motifs. We've had this cabinet in the, in the collection since 1918. It was sent out to New Zealand by the widow of the, of the first owner. And it's always been regarded as one of the major treasures of the museum's collection. When it first arrived in 1918, it was described in the local newspaper as one of the most wonderful productions of 19th century New Zealand cabinet making, which it, which it certainly is.